Welcome to uh, video number two. I'm going to show you how to make a CNC panel using some of the shapes. I uh, made myself a sketch and I've got dimensions on it that I'll be using so all we have to do now is then input them. So the first thing you would do I'm, oh, wait a minute. I'm going to show you which ones I'm going to do. I'm going to do an outlet. I'm going to do a DB25 and four DB9s for the motors. The DB25s for the uh, breakout board. And the uh, bolt circle I'm going to use to create a uh, 80 millimeter fan mount and uh, holes for air for the air circulation. Okay, so first thing we do is click pot size. Create pot size. This pops up. Uh, for you guys out there that are into metric or your control is metric, just click this and enter the values that you have. Okay, so I'm doing inch, so I'm gonna enter my values. So the length on the X is going to be uh, 12 inches long. Uh, y is going to be 6, say, 6 inches. Uh, no corner radius is 0, we enter 0. Okay, uh, mounting holes I'm going to leave as 1 eighth and uh, corner position for X and Y I'm going to leave at a quarter inch. So you have two selections. You can do it with holes or without holes. So we're going to need the holes. So we're going to do with holes. Okay. On this pop-up here, this is just a reminder that you can do another shape. So uh, you can either use your mouse or press enter. Okay. Close it. Over here we have it on our input list. Okay. Next shape is the power outlet. This this can be used for uh, your uh, coolant and your router. 110 volts. Or if you don't have a, a router that's 110 volts, you can use this for any the vacuum or vacuum cleaner or or the coolant, whatever. Okay, so I got to enter the location. I, uh, on my list, I got nine inches, so I put nine in there, and one inch up from the bottom. So, like, th if this was the panel, it would be one inch up and nine inches over from X0, Y0. Okay, enter. Enter again to get rid of that. Over here, we have our outlet. Close it. Uh, the next shape is going to be the fan. So I will use the bolt circle for that. I calculated the bolt circle for uh, an 80 millimeter fan. Uh, so I'll show you what I've done here is I'm going to add four, the four mounting holes. And the bolt circle is uh, 3.3. 3 point nine eight one which uh, is about seventy one point five millimeters so that's going to give you that dimension like if this was the bolt circle here across here it would give you these four holes at seventy one point five seventy one point five on the X and Y okay so now I have to establish the X center, which over here is nine inches. So we'll change that to nine. And uh, I'm gonna make this uh, four and a, uh, three and a half. Three and a half, or we'll try three and a half. I, I, I don't see it on my list, I might have missed it. Okay. And the whole size is going to be, say, one-eighth, okay? And uh, 
the first hole is 45 degrees from the center. So looking at this here, we ain't making this, but basically we're doing the same four holes. So we hit uh, the enter bolt circle. Enter again to get rid of that. And then the next step is uh, the holes for the air inlet to let the air in or out. So we're going to say 30. This is two rows. One will be 30 holes and one will be 24. So we're going to change the bolt circle to 2.8. Same centers. The holes are going to be, uh, oh, let's say uh, 204. 204 and uh, first hole, the start of the first hole will be zero degrees. Enter, okay, enter again, 24, and the bolt circle is 2888. Okay, same centers, same holes, enter. Okay, uh, close, we have it over here, Three. we have the four holes and the two bolt circles for the uh, air to, to get into the box, okay? All right, the next thing is the uh, DB25, so click that. The DB25 is for your breakout board, so let's establish where we want that. I say, let's say, two inches in from the left-hand corner, I mean the left-hand side, and uh, one inch up from the bottom, okay? So we hit that, press enter to do another one. Uh, we're going to do four DB9s. These are your uh, motor connections for X, Y, uh, and Z, and A. Now you don't have to use a DB9, you can use a, a 5 8 hole. Some of the connectors they're using now uses a 5 8 diameter hole. But I, I like the DB25s because you can uh, use them for either the uh, Gecko uh, 540, whatever. So let's uh, continue on here. So all we have to do here is just change the uh, Y offset. So I'm going to change that to 2. Press enter. I mean press the button which you're entering it. Uh, enter again. Uh, change it to 3. Hit the button. Enter. Change it again to 4. Hit the button. Enter. Next one is 5. That gives us 4 of them over here. Hit enter. Enter. Uh, okay, we got we got the DB25 and four motors. Okay, that's correct. Close. And uh, you could add, you know, a lot of things, but I'm just going to stop here for now and show you how this came out. So all you got to do now is hit the create button. The file is created. Close. I'm going to show you this in, uh, you can go direct to CAM, so you can go, this is the uh, CAM program I use. I just, I thought it was an easier one to use, but if you have cut 2D or CAM BAM, then just enter your path here to run it. So we're going to open it up, i got to shrink it down to fit. Okay, let's see if we can get it right there. And then we're going to hit the file, and we're going to open the file. And the file's called that, pot.dxf. Uh, it was done in inches. If it was in millimeters, you'd check that. But I'm an inch, so I checked that. And here, shrink it down, there it is. Now this could have been moved up a little bit more. So, uh, for you guys, I'm going to show you a little trick out there for you guys that uh, don't know how to, I mean, you know something about CAD, but you don't know a whole lot about it. Now, I want to move this. So what I'll do is I'll exit out of this, 
go to uh, program options, open up the cam. My uh, CAD program is, oh, that's cam, excuse me. Open up the uh, CAD program. And my, uh, I use the free draft site to check out some of my stuff that I do here. And uh, I run it, and uh, here it comes. All you gotta do now is open it up. Here it is right here. It's on my desktop, part DXF, there it is. Okay, this is all you have to do is put a box around that. Go to Modify, uh, Move, select the center. I'm going to do this manually and move it up to where you want it. Let's say right about there. Okay, that looks good. Then all you do is save it as uh, the DXF, you can save it to any DX you want. I'm saving it to R12, that seems to work better. S save. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching this video. There'll be some more, I'll show you some more things to do in the upcoming videos. This is video two, so uh, it'll probably be video three. Thank you for watching.